We have all gone through those times in life when it feels like it's just one bad thing after another. The bad luck seems to be relentless and the world against you. Sometimes it gets so bad that you feel like giving up. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like, and share this video with your friends. This mother of one certainly felt that way. Everything seemed to be working against her and she had truly reached the end of her tether until one day her son did something really remarkable which made life seem worth living again. It had been a particularly testing day for Amanda Canton. At the moment, every day seemed to be one of those days. She had been struggling to make ends meet, and just when she thought things couldn't get any worse, her precious son became unwell. She was very concerned about his health and knew that she needed to seek medical attention for him, but this would be expensive. Amanda was in a state of despair. She felt utterly hopeless and prayed for her situation to improve. Little did she know, it would be her nine-year-old boy who would step up. Amanda was from Tonawanda in Erie County, and she lived there with her nine-year-old son, Noel. She had recently been met with more challenges than she could handle. It felt relentless. She knew that she had to pick herself up and keep going, though for the sake of her son, if nothing else. Tragically, her father passed away in 2015. On the way back to her car after a very difficult funeral, she discovered a parking ticket on the windshield. She headed straight to the courthouse to object to it, and when she returned to her car, she found that a second ticket had been placed on her windshield. Amanda couldn't believe it. This was the last thing that she needed. Upon arriving home, Amanda discovered that her landlord had evicted her and her son. She was about to face a difficult court case in order to settle the dispute. She repeatedly explained to the judge that she had been struggling a lot financially, despite the fact that she was working hard. The courthouse was in a very built-up and busy area, so it was impossible to find a parking space in the vicinity. Consequently, she was forced to park further away, in an area where there were no parking signs. She left her car there and hoped for the best. When she arrived back at the car later on, Yet another parking ticket awaited her. What had she done to deserve this? Not only did she have to pay all of these fines, but she also had to pay for her father's funeral and somehow come up with enough money to pay for a new apartment. Nonetheless, she managed to put on a brave face for the sake of Noah. Things were only about to get worse. Noah was the only thing that was keeping Amanda going through all of this suffering. Her son was her number one priority and she would do anything for him. One day, she received a worrying phone call from her son's school. She was informed that he had fallen ill and needed to be taken to the hospital as soon as possible. Amanda dropped what she was doing and headed straight to Noah's school. She drove him to the school, where doctors immediately looked after him. Amanda felt very panicked. All she wanted was for her son to be okay. Nothing else mattered at this moment in time. She managed to keep it together that is, until she was handed the doctor's bill. This was the final straw. She felt as though there was no way out. The bills were stacking up, and she wasn't being paid nearly enough to be able to cover them, nor did she have anyone that she could fall back on. Never had she felt the strains of being a single parent more. She needed someone to help her and to reassure her that everything was going to be all right. Still grieving the loss of her father, she missed him now more than ever. He would have been a source of comfort for her. He always knew what to say. When Amanda saw the doctor's bill, she did a double take. Her heart sank as she realized that she wouldn't be able to pay it. Upon seeing it, she became angry and aired her frustrations at the doctor. She felt that the bill was a lot more than it should be. Other patients in the surgery couldn't help but stare as they witnessed the ensuing argument between Amanda and the doctor. It was at this point that Noah was made aware of just how bad things were for his mother. He felt that he had to do something about it, but what? Amanda had hit rock bottom. In order to pay off all of these debts, she would have to go into her overdraft. The only money she had to her name was the $15 that she had in her pocket. She used this to buy her son breakfast at Denny's and the remaining few dollars were spent at the arcade. She felt that her son needed a pick-me-up after his hospital visit. As the pair were leaving the arcade, Amanda noticed something that made her stop in her tracks. Noah picked up on this, and Amanda muttered to him that the policeman who had given her all of those parking tickets was sitting right there in the restaurant. Amanda's blood boiled at the sight of him. Though he didn't know it, 
This man had caused her so much stress over the last few weeks. All she had been trying to do was deal with the other pressing issues in her life. She had an urge to shout at the policeman and tell him just how difficult he had made her life through his actions. She considered shouting at him and trying to make him understand what life was like for her, but something stopped her. As she watched Noah eat his food beforehand, all she could think about was how terrible it was that her son was now aware of all of the problems that she was facing. She felt like she had failed him as a mother. Her mind was racing with thoughts of where this would all lead. How on earth was she going to get out of this mess on her own? Amanda was angry at the very sight of this police officer, who continued to turn up and make her life worse. She was finding it increasingly difficult to stay calm. Noah had always dreamed of becoming a police officer later in life. As a result, he idolized them. Every time he saw a police officer, he would be desperate to talk to them. However, in this instance, he felt conflicted. He knew that this particular police officer was responsible for a lot of his mom's problems, and he didn't want to upset her. Whilst they were having breakfast, no one noticed that Tanawenda PD officer Ryan Benitez was sitting alone at a table just a few meters away. He could see that his mother was distressed at the sight of him. He weighed up in his mind what his next move should be. He did not want to cause Amanda any more concern. One of the most important things that Noah's mother had taught him was to have good manners and to always approach people with respect. She would always tell him to treat people as you wish to be treated. Amanda didn't want to tell Noah what she thought of the police officer, since she knew how much he looked up to them. The last thing she wanted to do was to ruin this for him. What happened next, she did not expect. Amanda was trying her utmost to keep it together. Her mind was plagued by thoughts of her father and how much she wanted him to be there with her at that moment. He would know what to do in this situation, he always did. While she trusted herself to deal with any challenges that came her way, she would have really appreciated a little help. She felt ashamed that things had got this bad and that the money for their breakfast was all that she had. At least she had her boy, who was always making her proud. She could never have predicted his next move. Noah really wanted to step up and have a conversation with Officer Benitez about the parking tickets. He wanted to protect the mother who had always taken such good care of him. He tried to pluck up the courage to go over and talk to him, but he couldn't think of what to say to him. As much as he wanted to, he couldn't find the confidence within him. He felt very intimidated by the situation. As he continued to eat his breakfast, Noah tried to come up with a plan of action. Finally, it came to him. Feeling confident that he had made the right decision, Noah cleaned himself up and walked over to the counter to speak to one of the waitresses working at the restaurant. He explained to the waitress what he wanted, and smiling at him and ruffling his hair, she walked away, returning seconds later with a piece of paper and a pen. After she handed it to Noah, he began to write something. Amanda suspiciously watched her son from the table, wondering what he was up to. What he wrote on the piece of paper will leave you stunned, as it did Amanda. When Noah had finished writing his note, he took a deep breath and slowly made his way over to the table that Benitez was sitting at. The officer was enjoying his breakfast, blissfully unaware that a little boy was approaching his table. Noah was very nervous, but he managed to find it within himself to take the note over to Benitez. He had to do this for the sake of his mother. Initially, Benitez looked extremely puzzled when Noah handed him the piece of paper. After examining the paper more closely, his face turned red, while Noah stood beside him looking stunned. To the officer's surprise, Noah had handed Benitez the receipt for his breakfast. A couple of weeks previously, Noah had celebrated his ninth birthday and he had been given some money as a present. Rather than spending it on sweets or toys, he had decided to hold on to the money until he found something that he really wanted. In a touching gesture, Noah decided to use some of his birthday money to buy Benitez his breakfast. This wasn't all either, he had also written a little note for Benitez which contained some very sincere words. The note read, I want to be you when I grow up. Thank you for your service. Noah Cummings. The officer was shocked when he saw the contents of the note. He had experienced many kids coming up to him and wanting to shake his hand, but he had never had anything like this happen to him. He couldn't believe that a nine-year-old boy had just bought him breakfast. How mature of him! 
He wanted to show his appreciation for this sweet gesture, but when he realized who this boy's mother was, he felt his stomach turn. Officer Benitez got up from the table and asked Noah if he would like to have a picture taken with him. Noah was ecstatic at this suggestion. Not only had he met one of his heroes, but he was now going to have a photo with him. He would always remember this day. In spite of the anger Amanda felt towards the officer, she couldn't help but feel happy for her son since she knew how exciting this would be for him. She felt extremely proud of him. In an attempt to make things right, the officer made a phone call that would turn Amanda's life around. Amanda wanted to share this moment with her friends on social media. She posted some photos and expressed how proud she was of her boy. One proud mama. When your child asks if we can pay for an officer's breakfast, writes him a message on his receipt, her post read. She couldn't have anticipated the reaction she would get. Hundreds of positive comments flooded in, praising Noah for his big heart and the kindness of his gesture. Amanda was also praised for raising such a good-natured son. After feeling that she had failed as a mother, this was all that she needed to hear. Benny Tessa's fellow officers felt very moved when he recounted the story to them. They even contacted Amanda to ask if they could share this story on their Facebook page. She willingly gave them her approval. Well, Noah, you touched all of our hearts today. Your support means so much to all of the men and women who put on the uniform every day. We wish you the happiest of birthdays. In addition to this kind post, Benitez felt that he wanted to repay them for Noah's generosity. After hearing Amanda's heartbreaking story, the officer knew that he had to do something to improve her situation. He called his boss at the Tonawanda Police Department and told him to drop the parking ticket straight away. His boss agreed, and the tickets were dropped. When news of this story spread throughout the police department, other officers felt that they too wanted to show Amanda and Noah their appreciation for supporting the officers. Benitez openly expressed how touched he had been when he received the note. It meant everything. It meant that I'm supposed to wake up every morning and put on this uniform and go out there and do what I do. You know? He continued, during a conversation with ABC7 News, it means that I need to keep trying to be a good example to all these young guys. It was Noah and Officer Benitez's relationship that received the most attention, especially from the media. Noah, to his delight, has kept in touch with the officer and other policemen. As a token of their gratitude, the department told Noah that he was more than welcome to visit the police station whenever he wanted. He was even given one of the officer's spare badges, which he took to school for show and tell. Amanda felt uplifted by the actions of her caring son. He had turned her life around once again, simply by being himself. The story caught the attention of one particular news channel. Comments started flooding in from countries all over the world, including Norway, Italy, the Netherlands, and even South Africa. One fan wrote, he is going to be one great cop. Thank you, Noah, you are a good and thoughtful person. Good luck in the future. You must have a good mom too. I'm going to make the world a better place and capture the bad guys, Noah said. His mother's reply was very heartwarming. If Noah does put on the police uniform and badge in 10 years time, I will be one proud mom. After the story had caught the attention of the media, having circulated all over the internet, Benitez and Noah were invited in for an interview with ABC7 News. Benitez even let Noah travel in the car with him. Noah was absolutely ecstatic about this, as you can imagine. The police officer now takes Noah's note with him wherever he goes. He carries it in the front pocket of his uniform as a reminder that the work he is doing really matters. I've got it right here, cause I'm gonna keep it as long as I can, he said.